Hey there, Barter Breakers. Eric here at the Long Beach Comic Con. We're going to go downstairs and check out some of the artists at Artist Alley. Let's go. And I'm here in the Artist Alley with Dan Smith. Dan, how are you doing today? I'm doing fine. How are you guys doing? We're doing great. Dan, your artwork is great. I love the the cartoon nature of it, the caricatures, and the fact that you incorporate Legos in your artwork. Can you tell us a little bit of uh, where that inspiration came from? Uh, I like to use highlighters, and Legos glow like highlighters do. So <laughs> when I was younger, I, I used to collect their, uh, their generic medieval uh, set that's what I had so. all right yeah I like the medieval stuff yes. you actually uh, you actually drew a uh, Lego version of my fiance right here I did yes it's fantastic what was she won't hunt me down and kill me I know I think she like it. I think she'll like it what um what were you thinking when you started this out I was thinking uh, make them happy with uh, Hillary Bowman with Chroma Bear. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about uh, your art that you're doing out here today? Sure. Um, I am uh, selling a couple of things. I have two new comic books for the series. Uh, Cirrus is one. It's about a city station in Earth's upper atmosphere in the future that controls the weather of the planet. And it's a hand-painted graphic novel. So we have a new issue out today, issue three. I'm really excited about that. And then I also have Galilee, which is basically Casablanca in space. Right. Where did the inspiration come for these ideas? Uh, Sears came from the inspiration. Uh, writer Graham Sibley came up with an idea one day when he was driving down uh, a, a freeway and it was pouring down rain and he was just thinking to himself, I really wish I could control the weather. So he started writing this uh, cute little story about being able to control the weather and we put it together as a comic book. So, yeah. Excellent. And I see some sculptures here too. Can you tell us about these sculptures? Uh, well, this one over here to my right is Alara. She's a wolf girl and she's one of our main characters in Cirrus and she's completely out of clay just one color clay there the green gray and then over here to my left is a new sculpture that I'm working on today as you know over the course of the weekend here at Comic-Con and uh, his name is Yanko Altair and he's going on a spacewalk in issue two of Galilee so I thought I'd sort of make him for for the weekend fun. I'm with Dave Wagner uh, outside his table of awesome uh, caricatured uh, artwork. This stuff's great. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about uh, where your inspiration comes from? Uh, sure. Um, I'm a child of the, uh, I guess, 70s, 80s, and I grew up watching lots of cartoons. Uh, I guess my biggest influences probably are like the Hanna-Barbera and uh, Space Ghost. Uh, pretty much all those morning cartoons. Well, I bought some stuff from you today. I got this awesome uh, Ninja Turtle print from you. You've got them framed. Uh, these are great. These are great. Uh, but you know what? It's in like red and white, so I can't tell which turtle do you think that is. Uh, if I had to guess, well, actually, I drew it, so I know. Um, it's Michelangelo. Okay. Do you have any projects that you're working on right now? Uh, yeah, uh, I do two web comics. Uh, my main one is called Dot Problems. Um, and that focuses on kind of the modern time uh, problems uh, with like pop culture issues and my character Doug, you know, he's not really all there. So he's always having a problem with, you know, what's going on in culture. And the other big one, uh, I'm doing one called Fight Scene uh, for EatGeekPlay.com. Um, and it pits two unlikely characters in a fight to the death. Uh, the very first one had Wolverine fight Finn from Adventure Time. That is fantastic. And where is that again? Uh, EatGeekPlay.com. With James Coffrin. Uh, we're outside James's uh, table of amazing uh, paintings and prints. Uh, James, can you tell us a little bit about your style? Uh, it's pretty much dark fantasy with, uh, I don't know, a little, bit of, a little bit of horror there thrown in. I mean, your style almost has a very Lovecraftian feel to it. Like, it, really? yeah, I feel like the theme, the essence, the dark horror of it. That's good. That's a, that's a big compliment. No, absolutely, man. It's very like Lovecraftian. I, I really dig the stuff. Do you have any like favorite piece or you're something that you're working on right now that you're really jazzed about? Or that's a tough choice because I I kind of hate all my work after about a week. <laughs> so so I just want to move on and do a better one. And you know like after I finish a piece. Here at Long Beach Comic Con with Geeky Mamas, and they are a store here in Long Beach, actually, just down the street from the convention, and I'm here with an employee, Rebecca. Rebecca, tell us about what Geeky Mamas does. 
Well, we in our stores we carry two items. We carry we carry our toys, and then we carry our clothing as well and our accessories. Now, what we do is we do we customize our clothing to look geekier than it actually is. Yes, <laughs> we I guess we enhance it geekily. I believe um, our Buena Park store has clothing and our Anaheim store in Garden Walk has the most clothing out of all of it. And we also have handmade accessories as well that are made by local artists. Excellent. And where's the best place for people to find you online? What's the website's name? If you go to www.geekymamas.com, it redirects you straight to her Facebook page. Well, Boredom Breakers, it's been quite a day here at the Long Beach Comic Con. We've met some awesome artists, checked out their amazing artwork. I bought some comic books, got some great deals. Uh, it's been a great day. Thank you for joining us. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel if you've not yet done so. And while you're at it, why don't you share this video with all your friends on all your social media sites. Like yourselves on Facebook, like me on Facebook. And remember, as always, the next round's on me.